Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Kayleen Strain coming at you with uh, a recorded ration mashup this time. I'm doing this on my uh, new uh, LG Phoenix 3 phone. Yes, I still have the Samsung Galaxy S5, but this is my uh, new phone that uh, I can actually make calls on. So this would be my breakfast items, but these will be my lunch. So while my uh, coffee pot is heating up the water, I'm going to pull out what I got. I have apple pieces and spice sauce, probably like the apple pie filling. I have the South African Tropical Muesli. There is no ingredients on here, nothing on there, so I'll just find out what's in there when I uh, open the bag. And I have the apple peach flavored fruit explosion, which comes from uh, uh, the British ORP, which I received last month. My cold drink will be the tropical flavor drink mix from the same ration. These are the cereal biscuits from the French RCIR where the chicken pate had been removed by my customs. This is the oatmeal block from the British ORP. It's basically like an oatmeal cookie. That's another, the cereal bar. Uh, peanut butter. This is from one of the MRE Nation rations that I got. I have a, a British uh, English breakfast tea. That will go on my foreignamory.com mug. Uh, chocolate biscuits from the French RCIR. I'm not sure if I will eat all of them, but I have the other two chocolate biscuits. And then this is the French uh, chocolate bar. So this will be my... Uh, Oops, and the sugar for the tea. So this will be my uh, lunch today. And I will do the muesli cold. Because I'm going to actually be mixing it with the fruit explosion. So my uh, coffee pot is done heating up the water. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, this tea bag into the mug and I'm going to put the sugar in there as well then all my trash will just go into the Emory Nation bag which I had stored all these particular items in And to eat everything, I have my foreignemory.com sport. So my tea will uh, steep for uh, a few minutes while I uh, mix up the muesli and the uh, cold drink. And 
and I'll be using my uh, drinking jar for this. This is one I like to use for my cold drinks that don't require 500 mils of water. And these British ones that usually are in the, the silver pouches do not require as much water. Kind of looks like the color of what pineapple juice with a bit of mango would look like, I think. That's what this looks like to me. Give this a mix. I'll stir it again later, but uh, I'm just giving it an, an initial mix now. set that back there. Now I'm going to uh, open up the muesli. This is uh, 80 grams. Let's see, try to get the weight there. Uh, looks like there's big pieces of uh, granola, there's looks like raisins, banana, I'm not sure what other fruits because they all look the same. Just empty the bottle. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm going to put that there. Apples and spice sauce. That's the next thing. I think I'll put I'll just put that right here onto the tray. This is gonna look like apple pie filling, which is essentially what it is. I don't think that's good enough. I'm going to open up, uh, let's see. This is a chocolate biscuit, or the chocolate uh, campaign or army biscuits from the French RCIR. 
and looks like some of these uh, broke, but that's okay. And then this is the cereal biscuits. And the oatmeal block from the British Russian, which is fully intact. And I will open the chocolate bar. Let's see. First, I'm going to see how how much. Uh, What's the cocoa cacao percentage in here? Sixty uh, percent. So this is sixty. This is a sixty percent cacao uh, chocolate bar. So it it is on the darker side, which I like because I love dark chocolate. There's a little bit of bloom on there, but inside, nice and dark and delicious. I'm just going to put those right there next to my cereal biscuits. I'm kneading the peanut butter. Even if, it's a, even if it's a new pack, you want to knead these a little bit just to make sure that uh, you're not going to get a bunch of runny peanut oil or just a whole mess of it. And I just open up a little hole. So I'll move that over here. I'm going to put some of the peanut butter. On here. I'm going to put some on the oatmeal block. Or I would call it an oatmeal cookie. And because chocolate and peanut butter go together, I'm going to put some on uh, one of these pieces of the broken uh, chocolate biscuits. And I'll just put that back there. I'm going to give this another I guess I probably put a little too much uh, water in here because it's not really absorbed. But then I, I suppose if I use hot water, it probably would absorb better. But oh well, it is the way it is. I'm going to open the fruit explosion. 
in the past British rations they had something called the Fruit and Fun, which is a, just another brand of the same thing. I'm going to, oops, it's very, very runny. Go ahead and squirt some in here. This is the kind of thing that uh, if you had something like this. You can just eat it right out of the pouch. It's good for, it'll be good for like if you're hiking or you're just on the go and, and you need to uh, have a little burst of a quick energy and you want something fruity. Yeah, it looks like baby food. And I suppose you could probably feed it to babies as long as they weren't allergic to any of the ingredients. I'm going to give my drink another stir, just doing that off camera, but uh, that's what I'm doing. If the tea is steep long enough, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tea bag. I'm going to go ahead and first take a taste of this South African muesli with the, with the fruit explosion that I put in. I think maybe it uh, needs a little bit more time to rehydrate because the oats are... See, there's a close-up of the muesli. See, a lot of the oats and the other uh, granola type crumbles. It, otherwise it is not sweetened besides the fruit that's in there. And I think adding that fruit explosion kind of helps that out. Now I'm going to take a taste of uh, one of these uh, Spiced apples. Yep, tastes just like pie filling. I got cans of this in my uh, in my kitchen, so uh, that tastes just like that. Now I'm gonna take a taste of the cereal bar or the cereal biscuit with the peanut butter on it. These cereal biscuits are not quite as uh, sweet as they have been in the past. I think it's a different company that produced them for the French uh, military. And uh, if I would have chosen jelly to put on here, that probably would have been a good thing. But the peanut butter is still a good addition. In fact, what I might do. I might squirt a little bit of the fruit explosion on uh, another piece of this biscuit, just a little bit, since it is runny. Oh, that, that works. 
I'm going to take a taste of this tropical drink. I'm picking up pineapple. That's the dominant flavor is a pineapple. There may be uh, other tropical fruits. I'm not picking up much citrus in there. But uh, I still like that drink. Now this is the chocolate biscuit with the peanut butter on it. There we go. The chocolate biscuits are just a, just a little bit sweeter from the chocolate, but to me they taste like the cereal biscuits, even though they're a little bit lighter in color. I, just, I got peanut butter on my finger. They almost look the same, except for this one has chocolate, and uh, this one does not. I'm going to take a bite off of this uh, oatmeal block, which is, in my mind, an oatmeal cookie. That's a good combination, the peanut butter and the oatmeal. That one is a little bit sweeter, and the peanut butter just adds that extra nuttiness to it. English breakfast tea, that's, that's a good tea. I know there are better brands of the English breakfast tea, but that's still a good one. So again, this is my, uh, thing. I'm actually going to do uh, one more thing to this uh, muesli to kind of soak up some of the extra water that I uh, put in. I thought it would absorb more of the water than it did. So I'm breaking up the cereal biscuits. Another pack of the cereal biscuits. I'm going to put them in there to add a little, uh, a little extra texture. There's already enough crunch, but I'm hoping that these will absorb some of the, the water. And just to give, well, give me a little more uh, something to chew on. And I'm just doing this because I feel like it. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Now the final touch. A piece of this dark chocolate. Good solid chocolate, not too sweet. Just the kind of dark chocolate that I like. Yeah, you know, and it, you know, it's not the, uh, it's not as, uh, some would say, bitter as uh, chocolate that has a higher cocoa percentage, over seventy. But I like seventy percent also. But, uh, yeah, again, this is going to be my lunch. I will finish this up. I will get this uploading. And then uh, later on tonight, this is July 4th, so this may uh, finish uploading either after I do my uh, 
live stream tonight because I'm going to go live around uh, supper time, maybe 6 o'clock, something like that. I'm not sure. Central U.S. time. I will be uh, opening up one of the MREs that I got from uh, Foreign MRE, either the Meal Cold Weather or the vintage one, the corned beef. And I will pair that with one of the extra items, either the Russian chocolate bar or the Canadian chocolate soldier fuel bar. We'll go with one of those. And then uh, the other bar will be paired with the other MRE when I uh, open that one. So, And if you're watching this later, I'm recording this on July 4. And uh, tonight, around supper time, I will be doing a live show. So thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.